Good morning everyone. In today's video we're going to continue from the previous uh, video that we have and we created uh, uh, our uniform uh, twist and if you remember uh, this is the series uh, video uh, we have uh, been making to create uh, the whole detail of uh, twist parameter uh, in the modeling or in the architectural example of making towers and if you remember in the in the beginning or the first video we managed to make uh, a uniform a regular twist where the deformation or the twist parameter is actually working uniformly on the overall uh, of the tower body and then in the second video we went and we create an ununiform twist where the the actual twists happen uh, in the lower part or the upper part more than on the other side and we said that this is due to the uh, ability to use the you know, a simple range of a 90 degree uh, and the division based on how many levels we have and we use the math dot sign in order to create uh, the required where the beginning of the curve or the list where near zero there's bigger gaps and if you go and compare that as we said in the previous video at the end where the one you can see a very slight uh, changes in height I just created a simple basic illustration here for a point to show you what I was meaning in the previous video you can see this in the beginning where a bigger gaps and then when you go uh, nearer to the end of the range there will be very tiny small gaps but uh, near to the ends anyway uh, I will not need that anymore so I'm just gonna you know cancel this because you can see it's shown in the background of that and I don't want that and now I wanted to you know create a bias uh, parameter where this guy allow us to you know trans tra uh, tra get a good a smooth transaction between that uniform twist where it's zero and there is a one uh, which is you know the full bias parameter so I can uh, change that a little bit and uh, you can see that uh, the deformation will can be actually controlled or the twist deformation can be controlled uh, until you reach you know uh, zero which is no deformation at all and that's a that's kind of a beauty because you know if you can use that uh, to see exactly or to create exactly how much twist you want uh, out of this geometry and not also this but you can also take it for the other value of a negative and the twist and the deformation or non-uniform twist will happen toward the upward part of the tower as you can see if you go to the maximum which is a minus one you can see the deformation goes up and uh, that will you know that exactly as available in the you know 3d studio max bias uh, parameter it's inside the, the modifier parameter if you if you want to uh, you know uh, you know compare it to other application so how, how I've done that is again based on the second and the first video both together where uh, I you know instead in the, in the first video I just create a uniform a uniform jump where this is the value of the rotation and this is the number of the uh, floors I, I, I and that's create of course a, a steady equal jumps between the beginning and the end of the levels and the rotation of the, uh, the, the rotation angle and the amount of those jump represent each one of those levels that's what we've done in the first video in the second video we use 90 degree we give them to the sign value and and uh, we the math dot sign and get those values of course from zero to one and thus need uh, or required us to go and jump it and re remap the range based on a zero uh, that's the beginning and the maximum value is actually the rotation value that we need to create which is I just picked here a random number of a 270 so we give it the series of course in here of the number of getting from the math dot sign and in this case we remap the range and make those ununiform jumps uh, you know from zero to the end where it's the rotation the maximum rotation that you want or the rotation value you want what really we need to do is to get ourselves to compare or to, uh, to uh, transform those value uh, from the maximum rotation which is happening at a zero value and with the rotation of a sine uh, a sine wave so in this sine wave that's the result and you have to compare it with another another range here which is this guy which is just getting it's the, the the same 
the same sequence you got from a normal uniformed jump uh, that doesn't have a sign and this guy with the sign so it's really it's really if you have a look in here you're going to see that is 0511 that's the gain, gain from the sine wave and on the other side you can get from 0 3.6 7.2 and so on so that's the uniform uh, that will create an exactly uniform rotation and this guy gained out of the sign and those will create a bias distortion and uniform twist so how, how we can I get that I just created a very simple example here to illustrate the concept and, and that's what I meant by you know having a 10 which is a really big value for the distortion bias against you know a, a regular smaller value you can get from the uniform twist if you subtract one of the other you get 8 which is the difference from 10 and 2 we need to create a controller here that can actually allow us to change the transformation uh, on that difference between them that if I give this a 0.5 this will be give us four giving that back to the lower value again will give us six so we are actually controlling how much of the deformation where zero on this slider mean the uniform you know that's the uniform distortion uh, uniform rotation a uniform twist or when you get the maximum thing when it's one which will make it the difference eight give us the result of a ten which is the full bias so this guy will allow us or this basic concept basic nodes will allow us to create the required base the required bias parameter based simplified here in the basic concept as you can see so in order to apply that we need the two range one range that getting the remap out of the sign as we did in the previous video or the second video and the other guy here we can get the values as we get it from the previous video the the, the actually the pre uh, the, the one uh, number uh, actually the video number one that get everything is really equal now we need to subtract them uh, a minus b as we did and now we need a slider to get the lower value which is here I call it a subtracted sorry multiplied by the slider between you know 0 and 1 so when you push that to 0 you know actually you are telling uh, dynamo to you know use a normal uh, a normal uniform distortion and depending on the lower range which is this guy here if you put the other one as a one that means you full you want a full bias uh, or a full sorry twist and that goes you know to make it straight in the beginning and then uh, increase the amount of rotation at the end and then eventually you have to get this now which are all of them zero to be combined again with the original or with the previous uh, math dot remap range, which is this guy here that we get, that get the origin or the the normal jumps, you know, like a 3.6, 7.3, as you can see here. So again, you have to use the two uh, remap range, one that we get from the sign, and the other one that we get, which is just a regular remap, and then you subtract them and then you multiply the result a bias slider from 0 to 1 or actually from minus 1 0 and then to positive 1 so you allow the uh, the bias to go vertical or to to you know to the upper part or to the lower part and then you get back again to combine the result you know which is can be 0 or 1 anything in between or 0 to minus 1 or anything in between and you combine that back to the original one that have an ordinary uh, uniform rotation the result will be a new range which is here that actually uh, you know can you know have a transaction control transaction between the uniform and the, sorry the uniform and the non-uniform and you give that back as we did to the rotation or geometry dot rotation to get the required you know rotation value control and resulted and that's 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 what we really really concerned to do about defining the bias where zero it's a fully uniform if I go one that's mean it's a fully you know uh, fully biased parameter downward you can control that 
uh, and add anything, any value. Sorry for it, it's, 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 it can't be, you know, fully smooth because of the machine or the laptop that I use. It's really old. It uh, doesn't allow us to create a really smooth, but you can see you can control any bias, ununiform twist, control from uh, 0 to 1. As you can see, any value of rotation or non uniform twist, either in the positive. Uh, uh, direction which is here down or the negative which is up as you can see or set that to zero which where is no uh, no no uh, no uh, bias in the overall twist uh, anyway I, I wish that you find this video useful guys uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good day